In this video, I want to revisit our art journal, this big Dinah Wakely media journal that I started. And I did this one page, and I have decided since that video that this is definitely not finished, but it was a, a nice start. And then I joined the Stencil Girl um, Club, and I was playing around on the Stencil Girl site. And there was a video where a girl painted watercolor through a stencil, and so I pulled out a joggle stencil. <laughs> <laughs> this is an Elizabeth St. Hilary stencil and let's see if it says what it is. This is the rectangle motif and you know I don't use the big stencils, stencils as much and so I don't think to pull them out but in my mind I've got something now in my mind that I want to try on this page and then I actually have an idea that I want to then do kind of as a maybe an adder on this page and so this is going to be like a little ongoing project and I need something to prop this up a tiny bit I think so let me just see if I've got a book or two right here if I can prop this up a little bit because I don't want to work so hard at keeping that paper flat and so what I think I'm going to do is paint watercolor through the stencil. I definitely know that watercolor will sink underneath it. And I think that kind of adds to the look. I'm not trying for it to be perfect. And so I'm okay with that. And I'm going to I'm gonna keep on with my little Masha's watercolors uh, because I love them. This is the essential set. And I think I'll play with that set for a moment and just see um, what this can do and I, I don't mind I mean I'm gonna kind of do it like a little bit of a rainbow I don't care if it sinks under the stencil that's just going to add to the look for me and then that's just going to be like this next layer of this and I think that will be fun so we'll just kind of do and so you can go to the Stencil Girl site, I think, on their blog and see, you know, the, the video that I might have been watching where they showed this technique. And I just thought it was lovely. And I thought, hmm, why not? Let's just go ahead and play in our book. It's, this is not going to be like anything. Um, it's not like one theme. Like I'm going to play and experiment and just use this for whatever ideas that might come to me. And this paper is, you know, it's kind of different paper. It's, it's like a cotton rag, like almost like a fabric, uh, like that cotty paper, that Indian um, cotty paper that's uh, very unusual in the way that you use it compared to like a regular cotton paper that you might be used to using and so um, that's kind of interesting to see like what are we going to get it doesn't have to be perfect I don't care if it ends up great or not it's more about the um, experience of play and trying something that I've definitely never tried before I can see too this paper doesn't want to soak up some of the paint in some of these areas like I can see it repelling the color a little bit <laughs> um, which that's kind of interesting so it's definitely going to be different so I don't I don't know why that paper does that it needs to soak in more water I don't know oh I forgot this kind of purpley color let's get that in there oh <laughs> And I was going to tape this down, but you'll remember in that last video, I discovered that the tape actually tears the paper. That's why I thought it felt like that um, cotty paper. I'm probably saying that wrong, so um, I apologize if I am. Definitely fun with a little play here and just kind of getting something on this page. So now... I'm not worried about it sinking under. I think that kind of adds to the look. Um, and I think I'm going to just see what we got and then we'll let it dry. <gasps> oh, ho, 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 look at that. Oh my gosh, that's super cool. Now I got to figure out where I can set this stencil down because the watercolor is still wet. 
Brr. Here we go. I'm going to set this down for a sec. There we go. I just kind of set it down on a paper towel and then used my shop rags <laughs> to get all the color off of that. And that worked really good because all that wet watercolor would have gotten on everything. But look at that page. That is so cool. And I almost had in my mind that I wanted a handmade paper, maybe painted in one of these colors. So I'm going to go look through my handmade paper stash and I'll be back. So I've actually found a couple of handmade papers in my stash, which I may or may not use on this page. And don't ask me what these are because I don't even remember. But you can, wait a minute, this one has a tag on it. This one is gossamer natural from gpcpapers.com um let's see if you can see that tag um so gcppapers.com uh, um is they've got lots of handmade papers and some of these might have come from there and others probably came from the art store when i was looking around because these other two don't have a tag on them but this one is so cool that I can definitely see that as maybe a collage element in one of the pages that we use um, in this book. So I'm going to pull it out just so that I kind of have it and remember it. Um, but how cool is that? That's pretty darn cool paper. I also found an orange paper that I already had that could be like a little flap in here that we can then, you know, peek underneath. And I also found a handmade paper that's kind of got this pattern that this stencil has that I thought was pretty darn cool too. Um, so that could be like a, an element on a page or a flap or an envelope or something that we use. Kind of feeling like this paper here, I could make it into like just an element that lifts or moves or does something fun um, on here. So that's kind of where I could even do it like as a collage element and start collaging uh, pieces on top of this. I almost want to tear it. <laughs> just commit. Just commit. <laughs> Okay, we're just going to tear that and commit to that too because I want to. And this page, I actually tore this side with scissors because it was a little bit bigger piece and the scissors don't look so good. So let's just tear that side. And I don't care that it's not straight because this other side is straight and it can kind of come this way. And so this could be an element that I glue down, glue other stuff on top of it, and now I have a flap that underneath we'll see what's underneath that. And so I'm I'm kind of feeling this. So let me grab some glue. Okay, so I've got a couple of glues that I kind of like for something like this. You could use matte medium if you were gluing down collage pieces, but I'm actually gluing in a flap that I'm hoping that will stay. And I'm almost thinking that I'll glue the flap in the kind of bend so that, you know, as I close the book, that will bend and be in that bend. It might not be a good choice, but that's what I'm going to do. And so I actually have um, photo glue sticks, which are acid free, permanently bonds photos to most surfaces. Um, special photo safe format. So I'm going to use it anyway, even though it's not like a an art glue or yes paste and so yes paste is my very favorite heavy duty glue and you could also use like heavy matte medium like if you have a heavy duty matte medium the thick stuff that would probably work good but this is one of my favorite and if you haven't opened it in a while the lid sticks but if you just kind of squeeze it around it kind of loosens up um, and this stuff looks like a real thick glue um, in in here and usually I will put that on with a plastic palette knife um, I'll just kind of spoon some out of here and get that on my surface and I'm kind of feeling like that's what I'm gonna do here and I've got 
I've got some wax paper I think I'm gonna do that on so I don't actually put the glue on my page and I can kind of make sure I'm getting it on this edge really good oh yeah I'm feeling good about that and then kind of thinking that other stuff could go on top of this and I'm just you know gonna continue working on these pages with you guys as long as they take it's don't have to finish a page in a day. I don't have to make all the decisions at one time. I don't want you to feel like you have to rush through stuff and oh no, you didn't get it done in one sitting. You know, some artist spends, you know, years working on things. Okay, I'm feeling it right here. Whoa, let's just go. And while this is still wet, you can pick that back up if you have to. Um, it doesn't dry immediately, so it's not dry. I could lift it if I needed to, um, but we've committed. We're going right there. And I do want to make sure the book still closes, but that's where I've decided I want it. And now you can see now I've got an open flap rather than if I'd stuck it on this page and it would have just stayed down. Now it's like a floating flap. <laughs> and we could put stuff on both sides of the flap like that flap could have been meant to go that way. So all right I'm loving that. I almost want to leave it open so that if I got any right here it'll dry before it dries down. Yeah I'm feeling good about that. And then we could work on top of that. So I'm not sure what we're going to do on top of that. We're going to continue on working on these pages as ideas come to me. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing that little watercolor through the stencil technique because I'm definitely going to add some more on top of that. But for today, that's kind of where I'm going to leave that. We're going to keep on working on these pages. And then once I feel like that's pretty good or maybe the next time I'll come and work on some other pages and we'll come back to this page but we're just going to kind of build the layers up together. All right thank you for painting with me and I'll see you next time.